Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. Like the title states, in this video I'll be checking for potential improvements and benchmarks as well as Genshin Impact as this is the most demanding application to date for mobile devices. As you can see, I have both the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPad Pro 2021 version. Both of these devices are currently updated to iOS 14.7 that released July 19th. Before we jump into test results, I want to quickly note I have added detailed explanations for all the tech jargon used in this video in the description below. Nevertheless, starting with 3 Mark Wildlife, here we are testing primarily the GPU. For the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I'm not seeing much of a difference in results that would qualify as performance improvement. GPU results are relatively the same compared to iOS 14.6. Moving on to the latest iPad Pro, for the best loop score, which translate to peak GPU performance, we are seeing relatively the same scores compared to both iOS 14.5 and iOS 14.6. However, for sustained GPU performance, which we can see in the lowest loop scores, we are seeing roughly a 15% GPU improvement, which is quite huge. Sustained GPU performance translate to better Bumble gaming experience and video editing graphical rendering type work. Moving on to Geekbench 5 for the CPU, again for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I'm not seeing a big enough difference in results to account as a performance improvement in both single core and multi-core scores for iOS 14.7. As for the iPad Pro, like the iPhone, I'm seeing no performance improvements, sadly, in iOS 14.7. Performance results are basically the same as iOS 14.6 and iOS 14.5. Now for the last test, I tested both of these devices in Genshin Impact with the latest 2.0 update. Starting with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, results are somewhat the same as iOS 14.6 after 13 minutes of testing. However, I must note, I did notice the GPU working more compared to when I tested on iOS 14.6. On the other hand, for power consumption, it's relatively the same. Now moving on to the iPad Pro, FPS results are practically the same compared to iOS 14.6. Again, like the iPhone, the GPU usage is relatively higher. I'm assuming it has something to do with the new Inazuma patch. Power consumption on the other hand is slightly lower with iOS 14.7 as we are seeing 15 watts of power versus 16 watts of power for iOS 14.6. Taking this into consideration, these FPS results does not mean everyone with these devices will achieve the same performance. Like I said in my previous iPad Pro Genshin Impact test, ambient temperature, Wi-Fi connection, applications installed on the device, and so forth are all contributing factors on your device's performance as it pertains to Genshin Impact. However, as for the iPad Pro, I do not advise playing max resolution for long durations as 1600p resolution is pure overkill and as you can see, this pushes the M1 SoC to the max. Definitely expect throttling after a while when playing max resolution. I prefer playing on medium resolution as this is around 1400p resolution, which is still amazing and allows the device to run at a steady 60fps no matter how long you play. In conclusion, overall performance seems to be about the same for those looking to upgrade from iOS 14.6 to iOS 14.7. Despite the overall same performance, at least the recent claims of Apple slowing down devices with their recent iOS updates aren't true for the latest iPhone and iPad devices. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and if you made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe notification button to see more content like this. Please stay safe, and see you next time.